Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Sunday the 23rd of June and as you can see I'm on Rigby Road and this is an update of the new Foxhall Village development. I'm starting on this bit today because look they've got the foundations laid in, all the rebars in so this coming week they are going to be pouring the concrete into these foundations so these are the houses that are actually going to be on Rigby Road and the couple that I just built here these are the ones that were had pretty much the most progress initially before the site was abandoned I don't really want to use the term abandoned but it kind of was the site was like just abandoned for a while before it was started up again but before that happened they were the ones that had the most progress and of course they were just completely stripped back to nothing when the new rebuild started and this is where we're at today on the 23rd but we can see the old bricks there from the previous buildings let's just come out again so we're going to take our usual look down Blundell Street this side is looking pretty cool now look we can see all the outsides looking almost complete I mean there's still outer cosmetic things to do like finish bits of plastering and going around corners of windows and doors but for the most part the outside we can really see now how this new little village this new, new little community is going to look we can see all the size of the houses, we can see the layout, we can see everything. We can see how it's all going to look. So yeah, this is cool. Let's walk around as usual. So you guys will get a look at everything. So the buildings on this side are progressing quite well. On the top of the Rigby Road bit. We've got two storeys on now, they are pretty much just the outer shells, but they're here, they're built. Now, let's turn the corner and nip down Tilsley Road and film down this side. It's last few days, the weather's been absolutely gorgeous and it's nice today. It doesn't look nice. When I got up this morning, I got up about five o'clock, it was raining and it was a bit chilly and it's warmed up a lot. It's still a little bit chilly. I've got my waterproof anorak on today, but I don't have a big coat on because I think it's going to burn off later and be warmer later. I mean, you can see from the ground it was raining and the air's damp, but there's no rain right now, so I think it's going to dry off and burn off and going to be another great day. But we shall see about that. And as we know, because I told you in one of my recent videos, the new Starbucks on the road's open. I was going to go and film on the open day, but I don't know. I just ended up not going. I got kind of tired. But this early evening, I have got a Too Good To Go bag from that Starbucks. So as long as they don't cancel it, I shall be picking that up this evening around 8 p.m. So I will do a little video of that just to see what's in it there was a choice of two last night when I was on the app 
there was the sweet and pastry one which obviously was the one I got and then there was the ordinary one that just had like anything in savoury or sweet or a mixture of both so I just got the sweet pastry one because that was only £3.50 and yeah I shall pick this up tonight and I will do a little video and hopefully that'll be cool look we've got the TARDIS there can you see Yes, not a lot more development going on in this corner, but they've got all the bricks and stuff stored and they're obviously really flat out working on the Rigby Road side now because during next week there's going to be foundations poured in that side. So we're not going to see much work on this side until all the foundations on Rigby Road are poured. But the whole site in general is progressing really well. It's going to be so cool to finish it all, see it all finished and walk around it. Especially as we'll have all these videos of just it being built step by step from the start. I will have scenes like that and when it's all finished well, I was going to say when it's all finished, I can zoom in and get that same view of the finished building. But obviously, I won't be able to do that because there's going to be a house in front. But do you know what I mean? I'll have lots of comparison now and then views from the whole site. And who's been watching all the football this week? <laughs> Not me. I have to say I'm very much not a fan of football I don't have a deep-rooted hatred for it or anything I just have like a complete indifference I'm just very much uh, whatever that's kind of the view I take for these big football tournaments the only thing I don't like about the football beating on is that when there's an England match on and if it's on the night where I'm working the attendance for the lessons is really low because obviously people are staying in to watch the match which I don't blame them for because it's only every few years and if you're into that you're into it but yeah but on the whole yeah definitely not a football fan but anyway on that note we're opposite end to where we started we're looking down Blundell Street but this time we're looking from Princess Street towards Rigby Road and that is the same view from the opposite end there you go so that is going to be it for this video there's pretty much nothing else I can show you so I'm just going to say thank you for watching if you did enjoy the video just hit the like button before you go and if you're not already subscribed and you like the videos, just click the subscribe button too. And I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.